Okay, now I got some weird stuff going on the screen after I made some adjustments. But other than that, if it sounds good, I don't care. It looks almost like a scope, like I'm looking through a rifle scope. Or I'm flying in a flight simulator. Yeah, more like a flight simulator. Anyway, I don't know. I, I'm sure you guys seen me when I put this bag together because I had a problem with uh, finding a bag big enough to hold everything that I needed for when I give the classes on Wednesday. But the uh, but the um, fireplace. So I know you guys seen the bag short on calls too I gotta remember to take care of that well I gotta make an appointment to see him today well I'll make an appointment today but I won't see him until next week or the end of the week um, but anyway I don't know if I ever showed you how everything works and uh, just in case you guys are interested we'll run through it real quick I'm not gonna pull everything out and set everything up whoop did I pull it through on one let's see HDMI, no, okay. Uh, I may go to the other camera in a minute, only because, uh, try, you know what, let me do this, hold on a minute, hold on guys, I'm going to put you down for a minute. Let me take this camera off the tripod. This tripod is way too big for this little camera that I'm going to be putting on there, but you know what, it's a tripod. This tripod would work great for my spot scope. Hey, wait a minute. I think I have another tripod in the truck that I use for the spot scope. So maybe I'll have to check. Yeah, that's the problem. You get too many things. And you have no idea what you have. I'm not trying to brag about it. Just, a, just that's it. And especially if you don't use it all the time. Alright, so anyway, here's this camera. Okay, this is the new one. On a tripod. If I get done bouncing all over the place. Now the computer should have enough power in it to do what I need to do. The only problem I may have here is that um, I don't have anything here that I can use as a screen for the uh, projector. But I'm going to tell you something. I like this projector. It's an Asus. Asus. Uh, it works off a of battery, and I've run it almost an hour. Uh, it would have gone more, but what I was doing was just uh, almost an hour. Uh, and it was still great, but it comes with everything you need. Uh, it, it's a nice, nice little piece. Um, and it does have the power cord. Now, I don't know if either one of these are going to be charged up enough to actually run. But we will see. If anything, the camera may be, or the projector may be a little dim. But, let's see. HDMI. HDMI. The problem being, like I said, is... Where am I going to show it? Uh, I don't think it would look good on the green screen, to be honest with you. Um, and to show it on something small would really not give you uh, the effect of seeing it, you know, working in its uh, larger view. I have a roll of white vinyl here that may work. That reminds me, I ordered some stuff that should be coming in.
trials and tribulations of trying to do something here. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get this thing halfway decent without cutting a piece off the roll. Because, like I say, once I cut it off the roll, I'm limited to that usage of that one piece. And that's what I was trying to avoid. All right, now, if I turn this on, I'm running off a of battery right now, I think. Okay, I heard a beep. Hey! Uh, okay, is it going to work or is it? Yeah. Alright. Hold on, guys. We'll get you there in a second. Hold your water. Hold your water? I am trying to set something up here without going nuts. And what am I doing? I'm going nuts. Now, don't mind everything being crooked. Now, there's still a lot of light in here, and that's a high gloss, so you're going to get a reflection through it. <coughs> but it kind of gives you an idea. Excuse me. So, like I say, there's light coming in from here, and there's a gloss on the vinyl, because it is a glossy vinyl. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Zoom in a little bit. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. So let's go to YouTube for a minute. Now I'm using the pad, and I'm used to using a mouse. Oh, I'm not connected. Sure. Okay, so I guess we're not going to be doing YouTube. Uh, let's see what I have over here to give you an idea. If I have something... Uh, I'm looking for some type of a video, but apparently... Uh, well, I mean, at least you're getting an idea on, you know, how it looks. Well, that's a little too small. Tripwire. If anybody's uh, involved with uh, Homeland Security or... Uh, government in some way tripwire good thing to join up with what's this oh, here's a short video can I play it I don't know what I have in here so let's see no let's use this one they don't look intimidating but these power lines can be deadly all right. Every year in Canada, over 1,000 contacts are made with energized high voltage power lines. Actually, it's everywhere, not just Canada. In addition to these contacts, this is compliments to a Canada uh, electric company. A contact or break but may gives you an idea. Police, fire, now, that's EMS working on its own speaker Each off a of battery right now. I haven't got it plugged in the power. The and I'm on a makeshift screen with lights coming the in the window on the screen as well. So you really can't go this DVD, bad with this projector. Uh, it's a little ASUS, to and if I remember right, facilities. it was like 300 bucks. Or training, uh, the and it's small. I mean, it's about the size of what? I couldn't even tell you. Couldn't even tell you. A little, one of those little mini mobile computers or something. So, but uh, it gives a decent picture. Now, I haven't got it on focus. I didn't focus it in or anything like that. I didn't brighten it or dim it. I just plugged it in. Uh, it does have all those controls on it. John's dead. And it's only crooked because it's sitting on a crooked floor. Well, on a crooked stool. My floor is not crooked. I built that. Like yeah, right. <laughs> the floor is probably gone. crooked. Because I built that. Now he's gone. So, but, um, it's heartbreaking. as you can see, 
it's not bad at all. Does now, I don't exactly know if you can actually tell the size. Yeah. John was first on scene but, for a car uh, accident. But I'm thinking the screen line. size, not talking Responded about the vinyl that it's on, but the actual down. screen size is about 42 inches by maybe 26, 28 inches, somewhere around there. Um, well, let's see. Now, I when I play this at the station in the wardroom, 41 inches, I'm close. Now when I play this in the training room, whoop, sorry guys, knocked it off here. Ah, shut up. Hold on, I'll be right there. Where's the volume? Hold on. There. No, touch it. Um, when I play this in the training room, uh, this is on a wall. Well, it's on a whiteboard, actually, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing an exercise like I did last night, where we were using little cones and things like that, uh, we were using the whiteboard because the cones, these little things that I made stick to it, they're magnetic. If I'm showing a video, a training video, uh, sometimes I'll put it right on the wall. Now, the whiteboard, it's a large whiteboard. It's probably... Well, maybe another foot and a half, two foot longer than this piece of vinyl, and probably at least another foot higher uh, than this, uh, and it fills the whole whiteboard. And then, uh, you know, you can adjust the, the size of the picture by bringing it back and forth. Uh, and then when I do it on the wall, it's like a, a four by eight. I mean, so it's a big, and it's clean. I mean, it really is. And the wall is not a white wall. It's an off-white. So, uh, more like a buff color. And it works well. So it's really not a bad little projector. Uh, it's easy to carry around. It comes with all the cables you need. Uh, and it does everything you need it to do. So, all right. So that gives you an idea how that works. So let's shut down this little thing here. I'm not here educate you guys today if you want to look that stuff up just go to uh, YouTube and look up uh, dangers and hazards of wires down live wires stuff like that and uh, you will see what you will see okay so let me disconnect this let me turn this off Put the lens cover back over on it. Disconnect it from here. And uh, so that's kind of like what this little Asus does. Now yeah, that's about the size of it. Uh, and that's that little laptop that I use, that I bought, that I use a lot. I bought it basically just for that reason. And this is one of those. Um, what do you call them now? I can't pronounce it half the time, even though I look at it. I mean, it's not that it's a an odd name. It's just something that I, uh, uh, and it's a good unit. So, and I like that as well. Now, that's got one of those um, solid-state hard drives. It's got 8 mega RAM. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it's fast. It, it's a, I'll tell you, my next computer, if I have to buy another computer for the house, it's probably going to be one of them because I like it nice. All right, so meanwhile, back at the ranch, let's zoom back out. Whoop, not in, out. Let me tell them to take down my makeshift screen and I'll be right back. <laughs> 